Hey everyone, Mitchell from MitchellGould.com and in today's video we're going to be creating website visitor retargeting audiences. So we're going to be capturing anyone who's visited our site and put them in a retargeting bucket that we can use in our retargeting campaigns. So to get started, we first have to make sure our insight tag has been installed. So if we go into the analyze section in campaign manager and click conversion tracking and then go to data sources. We can check if our insight tag has been installed and if it's active. We see in this case that it's active and it's ready to go. If you haven't installed your insight tag yet, I have quite a few different videos with examples of installing it on WordPress, manually installing it and using Webflow and Squarespace. So you can check out those videos. It's pretty straightforward and pretty quick to do. But after that insight tag is installed, we'll go ahead and go into the plan section and we'll go into audiences and under the match audiences, we'll click create audience. And we're going to scroll down to the retargeting options here and we'll go over some of these other retargeting options in future video. But for now, we're going to click website. As far as the naming convention, I'm going to go into a slide here to show you how I usually go about creating retargeting audiences. So I break it into the different time buckets so you know that this group of people visited the website within the last 30 days, this group of people visited the website within the last 60 days, and then that can help you in your retargeting strategy because if someone visited the website within the last 30 days, you can you know promote a more stronger call to action because um, they're going to be more familiar with your brand because they recently interacted with your website. And if it's someone that's in the 180 day group, you can use some more like nurturing ad formats and ad messaging to, you know, stay in front of that audience over time. I also like to segment based off of all website visitors and also based off of key pages. So if you have key pages on your website, like pricing pages, contact page, any other feature benefits page that um, you would consider a key page, it's it's great to set up a retargeting audience for that particular segment as well. So as an example, this is what the taxonomy would look like. We'd have a, a segment for the all visitors 30 day, all visitors 60 day, up to 180 day. So we'll go back and we'll create the 30 day website visitors. So when did they engage the 30 days in the past? And if you have the insight tag installed and it's been installed for about 24 or 48 hours, you will see these actions, these website actions, and it'll show the different pages of your website. So you can just select those if they're available. And if they're not, you can go to the manually enter page URLs. And I usually like to use the contain um, function here. So, and then put my domain after www. So for the all visitors, if they visited my site, contains mitchellgool.com, then they'll be placed in this bucket. We'll go to next and then click agree. So it created the retargeting audience. You should receive a signal within the next few hours if you have regular traffic to your site. If you don't, uh, give it around 24 to 48 hours tops and you should see this turn to received a signal and it will be green. Once this audience has over 300 members, it can then be used in one of your campaigns. So then from here, I would create all the different groupings that we had in this slide, the all visitors 60 day, all visitors 90 day. So just as an example, we'll do that for the 60 day here and we'll go create audience. We'll go to website and anyone who visited the website in the last 60 days and we'll do the manually entered URL. We'll do the same one and we'll click next step and green and continue and we'll do that again. Go ahead and do that for all your key pages and for all your website visitors. And then you can use that in your retargeting strategy. In future videos, we'll go more in depth into the retargeting strategy, different ad formats, and how it all can work together with your, your cold prospecting campaigns. If you have any questions on that, feel free to just put them in the comment section. I'll answer them and get back to you. And have a great day. Thanks.